With the Nona pad, Millennium just released a very affordable multi-percussion pad. Let's check out what it's capable of. Art of Drumming is not just a YouTube channel, but also a free platform where you can find numerous drum-related courses filmed by major international artists. Head on over and join our growing community. With electronic elements becoming more and more important in today's music production, it has become one of the main tasks for drummers to reproduce those sounds live on stage. And having a multi-percussion pad, an electronic drum pad with you on stage, makes that job a lot easier. Now with the Nona pad, there's a new pad on the market that with a price of less than 200 euros is very affordable and that you can implement into your setup for not that much money. With the nine individual drum pads where you can place whatever sounds you want, you get a lot of options to enhance your drum sound and your playing with additional sounds and additional nuances. With more than 600 pre-installed sounds in 30 pre-installed kits, there is a lot to choose from right away. You also have 512 megabyte for your additional, your own sounds that you can load into the module, but we'll come to that later on. You also get 17 loops to play along to, and those are not simple audio loops, it's more of a pattern that you can use with all the different kits. So with one loop that you start and then switching between the different kits, you in the end get 30 different options from only one loop. Let me just quickly demonstrate what I mean with that. So with only one loop, you have a lot of different options to choose from that you could play along to or that you could use as maybe the backing track for your acoustic guitar song or whatever you're trying to do with this pad. Additional to the 30 pre-installed kits, you also got the chance to create 20 more user kits. So you could use either the samples that are already in the pad or you got the chance to load your own sounds on the pad and create a new kit out of those. If you then want to tweak your sounds a little bit, you also got the chance to use an EQ, a limiter and also a reverb. Let's just get a quick example of what this sounds like just by using a reverb on one of the stock sounds. Besides placing only one sound per pad, you also got the chance to place two sounds. And you can switch between different modes that either play both sounds simultaneously or you could also um, select a threshold point where it switches from one sound to the other. So for example, um, what they did with the, the stock sets is that you got your closed height here and if you play harder, the height opens up. You can also work on this, so if you want the height to be closed all the time, you can just set that and everything's fine, or if you want it open. And you also got the chance to plug in two foot switches and set them to a bass drum pedal or also a hi-hat control. So if you place that as a hi-hat control and you use it with the hi-hat with the two sounds, your foot then controls if you play the closed or the open sound or whatever between. Besides the two foot switches, you can also plug in two more pads. So two more stereo pads or four mono pads. So for example, if you want to use the multi-percussion pad as your main instrument, you place two pedals to play hi-hat and bass drum, for example. And now you want to place an additional pad to play as a snare or whatever you got in your mind. There's no problem, you can just plug it into the module and you're ready to go. Now since we're talking about the connectivity options you got with the pad, let's just quickly go through the rest of the ports the Nona pad offers. You got a stereo main out with two large tracks, 
you got a headphone out with a large jack as well. Then you got a small jack as an aux in, so if you want to plug in your mobile phone, your laptop, whatever, to play back some of your favorite music, that's that works as well. And then you got two USB ports, USB A and B, to plug in either your laptop, if you want to use it as a MIDI controller, for example, or if you want to use the Wave Manager software. And you also got the chance to plug in a USB flash drive in the USB A to load in your sounds, do firmware updates, or um, also create a backup of your pad so that you're secure if something happens and you just want to bring all your data back in, that's no problem. Also, if you need more than 50 kits, for example, you got two bands and you want uh, to create all the kits you need for one band and then you need more for the other one, you could also work with different backups and just load them into the module whether you're with the one band or the other. So you got 50 kits for the one band and 50 for the other. The last two ports missing are the MIDI in and the MIDI out. Let's check out in which scenarios you could use it. Now the first and most obvious way to use it is as a standalone device. So if you don't have a drum kit around or you don't want to take a drum kit to a little rehearsal or maybe if you're just playing a small gig and got everything very compact, you got a whole drum kit in this single module. Let me just play three different kits for you so that you get an idea of what sound options you get with only the pad. Now imagine with two foot switches and maybe one or two pads that you place around the Nona pad, you get a lot of options to play with only this module and the sounds it has. The second option that you have would be to use it in a scenario like this one, where you just enhance your acoustic drum sound with the module. Let me give you two examples. One where I use it for some percussion sounds that I just can't play with the acoustic kit and then one with some electronic sounds. Now for the next one, I'm going to use the Preset Kit 28 and it features those notes here. And you could use those, for example, to come up with some soloing ideas. So using that as a phrase and then playing stuff in between. Let me just give you an idea of what possibilities this opens up.
one more option you have is loading your own sounds into the module. Just put them on a USB flash drive, plug it in here, load the sounds in and then place the sounds on the pads where you want them. Here, for example, I've set those two to infinity loop and I got a shaker loop and a synth loop up here. I got a clap sound and a snap sound down here. You just need to make sure that the samples are wave samples, mono, 16-bit, 48 kilohertz. And if you just load them in, it works straight away. Um, let me just quickly give you an idea of what you can do with some additional own sounds. And if you don't want to use internal sounds at all, you can also use the Nona pad just as a MIDI controller and use it with a DAW like Logic or whatever. Simply plug it into your computer with a USB cable or use a MIDI interface and plug it in via MIDI and you can just use it to control whatever sounds you want. Now let's quickly look at the front panel. You got your volume knob here here are the status LEDs for your triggers, external triggers and your foot switches. Then you got the click here. If I just press it, it starts playing. If I press it longer, I get to the click menu and I can tap the tempo that I wanna have and I also can set different sounds. I can set different time signatures, but let's not get too deep into that. Also, since the pad does only have two outputs and no secondary outputs, um, you could also like pan the click completely to one side or the other and use one side of the stereo out for your samples and the other one for the click. But that's totally up to you. In the moment, it's just in the center. Then you got your recording function and you can create your own loops, for example. The kit menu lets you play around with your kit. So you got your home screen with um, what, what kit you're at. You can just simply switch between kits with either the wheel or the plus and minus buttons. You can choose between different sounds here. You also got the chance to manipulate the volume of the individual pads. Um, the layer point that you can see here is if you have two sounds where it switches between them. Here you got the switch. You could also set the switch to fade, then it fades between the two sounds or you're off and you only get one of the two sounds. Then you got your loop function that I talked about before. You can place one of the loops on one of the pads. Um, effect section with the reverb that we heard, the EQ and the limiter. Advanced, where you can use tuning, muffling and pan to further mani manipulate your sound. Maybe let's just quickly have a listen to what uh, the tuning knob does. So you actually have a lot of chances to manipulate the sound and get it to where you want it to be. Um, then you got your advanced two. So you can create mute groups. So for example, uh, say that a few of your pads should be muted at the same time. The pad mode here gives you the chance to switch between different modes for, for the pad. So for example, if you set it to normal, it plays the sound only one time or if you switch it to infinity, there will be an infinite loop of this sound. So for example, if you got a one bar phrase of something on this pad and you place it to infinity, it's just gonna play over and over and over again. The linked pad here gives you the chance 
to link two different pads together. So if you play one, it also plays the sound of the other pad. So you got the chance to layer even more sounds on top of each other. The last menu you got here is the kit chain menu. And this one is a pretty mighty tool if you're on stage and you don't want to switch between kit one and then press, 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 press up to kit 20, you could simply say, okay, I want to have kit chain one. And then you select my first kit is preset kit one, uh, preset kit five here. Then it switches directly to kit 12 to one. And then I wanted to switch to my custom kit on here, custom 31. So now you can see kit chain one plays one. That's preset kit five directly to preset kit 12, one and 31. So for example, if you have a set list and you want to switch quickly between the songs without having to check where your individual kits are, that's a pretty easy way to do so. And also if you have multiple set lists that you usually play, for example, I don't know, maybe you have one that is 20 minute set, then 30 minute set, 40 minute set or whatever, you could work with multiple kit chains. You get five places here to store them and you're just ready to go. Just select kit chain five and go. Then you got your setup screen. Here you can set the MIDI notes for every individual pad for the nine pads, the four trigger pads and the two foot switches. You got the chance to um, work on the sensitivity of each pad. Then you can check the trigger type for the external pads. And now just some regular stuff that happens. For example, the display brightness, your software version. And that's basically it. So the options you get with a pad like the Nona pad are pretty much endless. And it's totally up to you in which scenario you want to use it. So you, either you can use it in a drum kit scenario like this one, you could also use it as a standalone device. You can use it, maybe you're a keyboard player, not a drummer, and you just want to just hit it for some samples in some spots because you just look, think that the visual effect of hitting something is cooler. It's totally up to you. Also, if you just wanted to, maybe you just wanted to transcribe stuff and you just plug it into your computer and use it as a MIDI controller just to give you the notes that you want to write down. This all is possible with this one. And after just a few minutes of getting to know the menu and the options, it's pretty easy to get what you want out of the Nona pad. So what do you think about multi-percussion pads? How do you like the idea of the Nona pad with that affordable price and all it has to offer? Let us know in the comments and see you in one of the next videos.